So what do we have? Well, you tell me, Steve. What do we? We have, uh, it's a base mods. Base mods. Ethan Farmer. E F four. Is that base mods. E F four is what it is. Yeah. We turn it over. We'll see on the other side. On this seat. E F four. E F. Ethan Farmer. Four. Ethan Farmer four. Yeah. It's his signature. Who's Ethan Farmer? He is a. I believe he's an L A based bassist. Plays sessions, but I forget who he's. Lionel Richie. Is a line of bases. All right, there you go. Yeah, great killer bases. Uh -huh. Awesome. He's great. So this is his signature model. Yeah. Uh, and it is a little modded. So his signature model, I believe, comes with a base mods preamp. Okay. And yeah. So, um, but and different pickups. Maybe different pickups. But these are your pickups. These yes. are all eight pickups. Which they do use, Base Mods does use mm -hmm. your pickups, right? Yeah. 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 Which is great. So, yeah, it's just a nice so where, 60s where's style. So, where's this base made? Indonesia, I believe. Okay. Let's look. We're going to confirm. Made in Indonesia. Indonesia. Okay. Yeah. So, it is a, you know, 60s style jazz base. Uh-huh. Alder body. Alder body. I'm pretty sure that's what I did the research. It's alder body. Maple neck. Maple neck. Rosewood bound fretboard with nice block inlays. It's like a nice and it feels like a 60s. 60s, 60s jazz, base. jazz base. Yeah, 60s facing on the on the pickups. The neck has got a kind of a smaller feel to it, but like, not like, tiny. Kind of like a 70s yes. bound neck. You know? But not like I don't know if you've ever played the Getty Lee jazz base. Yeah, not that thin. That's no. tiny. It's it's not it's that. It's bigger than the Getty, yeah, Getty Lee. Kind of between that and the, yeah, so it's it's good, man. It sounds really great. I mean, it's it's very gig worthy. Strings go through the body, which I love. Yeah, strings through the body or top loaded. You can do both. You had the option. And that's their own bridge. That's the base mods bridge, which I'm not exactly sure what it is. Okay. Yeah, it's their bridge. Base mods bridge. Love yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, this has an EMG preamp that you put. EMG in. preamp. So we have a bass control. Bass. Bass cut boost. Treble mm -hmm. cut boost. Mm -hmm. Volume, volume, and volume, and volume. Yeah, no bypass. No bypass. So, so you have each pickup volume. So yeah, it's um, I it's a very at home jazz bass. It's familiar. It's super familiar. Yeah, I really like the EMG preamp. It's good, man. It's musical. I haven't played one in a long time. Um, but it's yeah, it's good. You know, everybody, peek back, you, everybody back home there, these EMG preamps work well with other pickups. You don't have to use them with yeah. EMG. Yeah. Pickups. The EMG preamps work with any yeah. pickup, they work great. Pretty Just a cool. little, little plug for EMG there. A little plug. And yeah, and I've used the bass on a couple of gigs and it's good, man. It sounds really good. Yeah. Well, it definitely helps with your pickups. These are the hum canceling noise split coil jazz bass noise. pickups. So noiseless. Noiseless. Yeah. It's a little bit, you know, it's, it's a little different. It's kind of bigger. 
has that extra meat to it. So it's um yeah, I like the headstock shape. Yeah, I like the shape, man. And, and so there's so many bases coming out of Indonesia right now. Uh, you know, you have a lot of the Squires. Mm -hmm. You have a lot of the GNL Tribute Series stuff coming out. Okay. I believe the Ernie Ball um, so? Music Man. Wait. Sterling? Sterling by Music Man. Okay. Those are the overseas and Indonesian made. Um, sires, I want to say. Some of the Sires, possibly. I, I, I think they're Indonesia. Okay. And this is a, another just great example of a, a really well made Indonesian. Overseas base, mm -hmm. you know, and so Lakeland might make some of the Skyline stuff. Okay. It's overseas made, so uh, I mean, it's it's on par with any of that. It's for sure. I mean, it's better than the Squire stuff. I think. I think it's it, it just a little bit more. <laughs> it's a little bit better made than that stuff. I think what happened, what's happening with these bases, is that the owner of the company, Robert Lemus, mm -hmm. is the owner of base mods. Robert the owner Lemus. of base mods. Okay. He gets these bot. He gets basically. He'll get a neck with the hardware, mm -hmm. the body with the hardware, and it's bolted together, and then he will put in the pickups and electronics of his choosing. Oh, okay. So he has his own. He even makes his own pickups. Oh, that's good. Yeah, yeah. There's base mods pickups, and then there's base mods preamps, mm -hmm. but then you can say, I want a Johnny's preamp, and he'll, you know, that'll okay, be yeah. an option or an upgrade. And, but then in addition to that, he has a Plex machine. Oh, wow. So every base that, that goes through his shop gets, you know, leveled on the Plex machine, and if you don't know what that is, it's a computerized, computer-controlled fret leveling machine that will that measures each mm. fret, and I mean it's crazy. You just got you know, yeah. You know, go on YouTube and Plek P L E K and look at Plek. It's yeah. it's pretty wild. Yeah, and it's a it's a pretty good way to kind of you know get get these bases to as as tight a tolerance as you can get. Okay. I know if you, uh, GNL, GNL has two Plex machines. GNL does Plex machines. Yeah. Okay. Sir yep. has Plex machines. I'm sure a bunch of other companies, but they're expensive. Yep. They're like big, giant closets. They're huge. huge. And they, you know, have a whole computer program, like a, you know, it's, it's like programming like a CAD machine or something like that. Yes. It's his own thing. So, yeah. So, the, it's, uh, but he has a Plex machine and he has some Plex. And, I mean, that bass plays killer. I, I don't think I've had to, I didn't set it up since I, no, you don't need Talk to do anything. Out. I mean, yeah. right out of the box, this thing you can take it to your gig, you play it, and you have a great time. Yeah. And and you you could you know a good musician could make his living on this for his absolutely entire life. It feels it feels like a really good jazz bass. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, it's got a nice little compartment for the battery. Mm -hmm. I like this. Uh, See, that's really cool too. Lakeland does that. Lakeland, their Skyline series bases have the. Uh, inset there's no neck plate per se there's you know and yeah. and the tolerance i mean you, you look at that i mean it's yeah the neck it, pocket it's, is just killing man the neck pocket is good and tight yeah you, know, you can see that on the camera it's got a good glossy finish yeah it's yeah, yeah it's awesome and i'm, I'm not going to say that this is a budget base no i mean but it's, it's it's something that you won't you know you're not going to pay five thousand mm -hmm. dollars for this thing you're yeah. not going to pay three thousand dollars for this thing yeah Probably they're in the high. They're in the thousands, somewhere around there. Between like a thousand and fifteen hundred, maybe. Yeah, yeah, and I think even lower too. I think I, I want to say between seven hundred and fifteen, somewhere around there. Different models, but it's not crazy, crazy expensive. It's not super, super cheap. Um, I think if you're looking for something that is a little bit better quality than, let's say, the Squires, which is nothing wrong with them. Nothing wrong with that. Or a Sire. Nothing or wrong a sire. with a Sire. Nothing wrong with them. I don't really, actually, I can't say because I haven't really seen too many sires. Yeah, I, I put them. They're 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 good, but this, this is this is this is like Lakeland Skyline. Mm -hmm. um, yeah, it's quality. except and this and the setup that he does. Yeah, you know, is exceptional. Mm -hmm. and, and I think that's really yeah. where, where the money is with this thing. You know, with these bases, with base mods, you're getting a, you know, the setup is like. Pro setup. Yeah, I, I mean, the setup is going to be as good as any base you've ever played. Yeah, and it's hip shot. The hip hardware, hip hardware. Shot, yeah. Hip shot, oh, the tuners, at least. Tuners, yeah. Though the Hipshot licensed, whatever. Because Hipshot makes a... Hipshot does different levels also. Okay. USA made, whatever. So I, those are Hipshot licensed. Mm -hmm. And they're fine. They're, I mean, I don't go out and tune on gigs. No. So, yeah. The, the other thing is that I like about bases like these is that they're great candidates for modding. Yeah. You know, you, that's you, true. You, you, you know, try all your pickups out on this thing. Yeah. Uh, try different preamps, different, you 
know, uh, tone controls, whatever, is it, whatever it is that you want to do. Um, it's a great palette for uh, learning about what different pickups will yeah. do and different preamps and things like that. Even the bridge, you could swap the bridge out. Yeah. Um, it's a great way to learn find yeah. your, and find your sound. Yeah. And it looks good. It looks awesome. It's a great looking bass. The finish, really... the finish work is, is impeccable. Man, it's really good. And, and you know, yeah, I, I'm a sucker for, uh, you know, binding and block inlays. I, yeah. I dig that, man. I think it looks, it looks classy. Yeah. <laughs> it looks rad. Yeah, block inlays and binding, that's hard to do. It's hard to do, yeah. And it looks good. And for the price, too. Yeah. So, I find nothing wrong with this bass. I find nothing wrong. <laughs> Definitely a little bit higher quality than I'm kind of used to seeing them in a lot of those Indonesian made bases. Mm -hmm. You know? Yeah. And it plays great. The neck is great. So I mean yeah. that's the setup that came out of the box. Yeah. That's exactly. how it was out of the box. Yeah. It's incredible. That's yeah, good. I, I can't you can't say that for a for a lot of bases. That's true. Yeah. It's it's I'd say thumbs up on that one, man. So base mods. There you go. Anything else on it or uh yeah. It's a good base. Yeah. I mean, the rose, the, the wood that they use on the fingerboard is. It's not cheap. It doesn't look cheap. No. It looks it's good. probably Palfero. Yeah. I'm not sure, but. It's great, man. Yeah. You think it's uh, before the before they got their uh, certificate, before the rosewood, being overseas and shipping and all that? Yeah. 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 Sounds, sounds great, man. Base mods. EF4. Ethan Farmer. Ethan Farmer 4. So, yeah. With all eight pickups, noise pickups, and the EMG. Cool. There you go. Alright. How about all eight? Steve Araujo, two dudes. One base. One base. Base mods EF4. Thanks for hanging, guys. Thanks so See you on the next episode. Yes. Yes. Sign off. Sign off. Sign. I don't know. What's what is that? I don't know. I don't know. I'm not sure. Let's go lunch.